Hey everyone, I'm BB. And I'm Selena. And we're so excited because today we're having a pool, pool party. party! Today at our pool party, we have some sweet summer crafts that we cannot wait to show you. And we're gonna learn something awesome from the Bible. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So today, we're going to do three different crafts and they're in these mystery boxes. That's right, Selena. And let's go ahead and start with this one right here. Let's do it. All right, BB, here's our first box. Are you ready? I'm so ready. All right, let's see what's inside. Whoa. It's paint, awesome. Let's see, we have some purple. We got, look at this green right here. Oh, that looks like slime. Yeah. All right, we got this dark blue. Ooh, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a pink. All right, what else do we have inside here? We got some paint brushes. Ooh. We got our white crayons right here. A magic crayon. And looks like we got some paper. We both have a piece of paper and we both have white crayons. You're gonna just draw whatever you want and it's gonna be a mystery. They don't know what we're gonna draw either. All right, kids, let's see if you can go ahead and try to guess what we're drawing while we're drawing. Selena, let's get started. Let's go. I can't even see it right now. Yeah. It's hard to tell what it this is. It's crazy. See here. I'm just about ready. You're almost ready for the paint? Yeah. I think I am too. All right, here we go. That looks good. Which color are you going for oh, first? Oh, definitely the slime green. Slime green. This looks so cool. What I'm about you? I'm gonna go hot pink. Oh, good choice. Ooh, this is great. Look at That's this. awesome. Oh, man. Here we go. All right. Wow, wow, this green looks so cool right now. How's the pink over there? Pink looks great. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this blue right All here. Right. I'm gonna go for some purple. How about this one right, right. here? I'm, I'm using the purple too. Slime oh, you got the slime green. That looks green. really good. Isn't that cool looking? What's yours look like right now? Mm, not as good as yours. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to the green just because that was my favorite color. Yeah. Kids, do you have a favorite color that you've seen so far? Is it the green, is it the blue? I'm guessing it's the green. Yeah. Because that's by far my favorite one. The green's the best. Yeah. Can you see it? Just a little bit. You're almost done? One last one, going in with the purple and then and My masterpiece time to reveal. is complete. Mine's almost done right now. Okay, I think I'm almost done. Whoa, this is looking so cool. Oh, I can see yours. Can yours you? looks super good. Oh, look at yours. On the count of three, let's show the kids. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Look at it. Whoa, is yours a rainbow? Yeah, you that got it. That is so cool. Hey, can you tell what mine is? A sailboat. Yes. That's Did you guys awesome. guess that? <laughs> totally, we have a sailboat and a rainbow. Baby, you're such a good artist. You too. Wow, Selena, that was such a good drawing and it Thanks. was so much fun. I think we should go ahead and clean this up and move on to the next box. What that do you think? That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and clean up here. All right, Selena, you ready for the next box? Oh yeah, let's do it. I am too. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and open up this box and we're gonna see what's inside. Selena, can you show the kids what's no inside way. this box? This wow. is so cool. You're gonna love what's inside of this. Paint no popsicles. No way. This is a pineapple. What? All right, let's put that there. What else is in there? Like a, a cactus. Seriously? And more paint popsicles. Selena, look at Different this. Different colors. I think I'm gonna use definitely this green one right here. Let's go ahead and get our paper out. All right, go. thank you, Selena. I kinda wanna use a cactus. Can you I? You should. Okay. Yeah. Can you hand me the pineapple over there? There you go. There we go. Okay. All right, Selena, what are you gonna draw? I think I'm gonna draw a flower. That's so cool. You what know you... what I'm gonna draw? Pool floating. Let's All right, do this. let's get started. Wow. Oh, no way. <laughs> this is kind of Look hard. how cool this is. This is awesome. I can't believe I'm drawing with a pineapple. This cactus is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch over to Me too. this green one right here. I'm gonna take the pink. Nice. I'm gonna push down a little bit. There we go. That's a good color. All right, I'm switching to purple right now. Getting some petals. How's your flower going? Pretty good. Are you excited to show the kids your painting? Oh yeah. How's yours going over there? Is that a spaceship? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying Is to make a Is that a donut? <laughs> it's supposed to be a pool oh, floating. Oh, a pool donut. That's right. <laughs> a floating. Maybe this cactus will help it make more look like a pool <laughs> floaty right here. All right, my flower is coming pretty good. These petals, is it? yeah. I think I'm almost ready to show the kids. Okay. All right, one last final All right. touch. Ready. All right, on the count of three, we're gonna show it. Ready? One, two, three, three. look! <laughs> Isn't that so cool? How do you think mine looks? Oh, yours is awesome. Does uh, that look like a pool floaty? <laughs> I don't think it looks like a pool floaty. It might be more like a spaceship, I don't know, but yours definitely looks like a flower. Thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that was so much fun. We're gonna go ahead and clean up right now, and then we're gonna move on to the next box. Let's do it. All right, Selena, I'm so excited about this next box. 
Do you want to go ahead and explain to the kids what we're doing? Awesome. Let's go ahead and open it up first. <gasps> so cool. All right. We have some colored markers and some paper towels. We're going to work together on this one. Okay. We have our folded paper towel. You're just going to fold it just like this in half. BB, I'm going to give you the Sharpie. And we're going to make a rainbow. So you're going to make seven lines. But you have to make sure that it goes through on the other paper. So we have some markers. And what we're going to do is once BB makes these lines, we're going to color in the rest of them. Let's go ahead and get our colors. We have red, orange. Let's get our yellow. How's How this you? look so far, Selena? That looks awesome, BB. Good job. Blue and our purple. And I got my last one right here. Perfect. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our paper towel just like this. And we're going to take our colors and color in between the lines. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll start with the first one. We're going to do red. That looks so cool. I'm going to go ahead and orange. do orange. That looks All good. Right. It's starting to look a little bit like a rainbow right now. All right. Let's go ahead and do yellow next. Just in between lines. You're doing such a good job, Selena. Thank you. The next color is green. Maybe you got it down. All right, your turn, Selena. All right, now it's looking like a rainbow. That looks awesome. Here we go. Wow, good job, Selena. Right. And now we're down to our last color right Final here. Final color, let's see it. All right, it's gonna look like a rainbow. Wow, I can't wait to see what this looks like. All right, now we're gonna fold it back up, and then this is the best part. We're going to place it in this water and then see what happens. I can't wait to see what it looks Are like. Are you guys ready? All right, BB, do the honors. All right, here we go. Let's see. This bum, is going to be so bum, cool. No bum. way. No way. That's Whoa. awesome. It's an actual rainbow. Should we turn it? This looks so cool. Wow. Go ahead, take it Let's out. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Wow, That's cool. look at that. And the water turned all different colors. Look at how cool that looks. Good job, wow. Selena. Wow, thanks, Mimi. That was really fun. Yeah, should we clean up now? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I had so much fun making this rainbow craft together. Me too, Selena. And today, we're going to read a Bible story about when God put a rainbow in the sky. That means it's time to jump into the Bible. So everyone stand up. One, One two, two, three, jump! jump. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colored, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights, Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. 
This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, that girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. I love that Bible story. Me too, Selena. And now it's time for super speed trivia. Everybody, go ahead, stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Super Speed Trivia! What did God tell Noah to do? Build a boat or make a grocery list? If you think the answer is build a boat, clap your hands. If you think the answer is make a grocery list, stomp your feet. That's right! God told Noah to build a boat. What did God tell Noah to fill the boat with? Two of every animal in Noah's family? Or flowers? If you think the answer is two of every animal in Noah's family, clap your hands. If you think the answer is flowers, stomp your feet. That's right. Noah obeyed God and filled the boat with two of every animal and his family. What did God put in the sky as a promise to Noah and all of mankind? Flying sheep or a rainbow? If you think the answer is flying sheep, clap your hands. If you think the answer is a rainbow, stomp your feet. That's right, God put a rainbow in the sky. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down now. Noah obeyed what God asked him to do. God loved Noah and protected his family. Then, God put a rainbow in the sky and promised to never flood the whole earth again. God is amazing and so powerful. When he promises something, we know that he'll follow through. That's right, we know we can trust God. And that's today's big idea. I can trust God. Let's go ahead and say it together. Here we go. I, I can, can trust, trust God. God. One more time. I, I can, can trust, trust God. God. Hey, we just discovered today's big idea. That means it's time for a Pool party, party dance party. party! Hit it, DJ!